Okay, hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 20 from Hitt's book. And the question is, for the circuit of figure 4.50, determine all four nodal voltages. I think that 4 refer to this node here. Let's name this as node A. And this node here as node B. And this node here maybe as node C and this node here as node D. So we will have four nodes here. Okay, now we have our ground here, so the voltage here will be zero, and this ground is also connected here, so the voltage here will be zero. And right off the bat, we know that Vb minus zero will equal to five. Okay, let's write that, so I will have Vb minus zero will equal to 5 volt here and that means that Vb is equal to 5 volt okay maybe let's save this as the first variable that we know of and for the other currents let's assume the direction of the current let's assume that this is going to the right and this is going down this is going down. This is obviously going to the right. And this is going down. Okay, now let's do KCL. Add not A first. Mm, I think because this is a voltage source, we cannot determine the current that passed through it. So I will use this node VA and VC here as a super node. So now let's label this as super node. So this is our super node. And we can do KCL at super node. KCL at super node. And what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, the currents that goes in in the super node. I think there is no current that goes in in the super node, but all the currents going out. So let's write that the current that's going in is zero. And then this current here that goes out, the first current that goes out is here, so I will have Va minus Vb divided by 10, okay, and this current here is 2 ampere, so plus 2 ampere, and then this current here will be plus Vc minus zero divided by one okay now let's multiply both sides by 10 and i will have a zero here and this one here becomes va minus vb with 10 cancelled out and this one here becomes 20 and this one here becomes 10 vc Okay, let's move all to the left hand side so i'll have minus va and then plus vb and then plus 10 vc and that will equal to 20. okay and remember that vb is 5 volt so i will have minus va plus 5 plus 10 vc is equal to 20. So I will have minus VA plus 10 VC is equal to 15. Okay, I think we cannot do anything else from here. Let's set this as equation number one. And from this voltage source, I think we can derive another equation here. So I will have Va minus Vc is equal to 6 volt. So I will write at 6 volt voltage source. Uh, 
I will have VA minus VC. So I will have VA minus VC is equal to 6. And this is equation number 2. Okay. And I think we can solve this because we have two equation and two variables, right? So let's just uh, add them up, right? So let's put equation number two and number one here. So I will have minus VA plus 10 VC is equal to 15. And then VA minus VC is equal to 6. And we can add them up here. I will get 9 VC is equal to 21. And that means that I will have VC is equal to 21 divided by 9. That will be 7 over 3. Okay, let's have it. VC is 7 over 3. 7 over 3 is 2.2. 3, 3. Okay, this is for VC here, but from VC we can calculate VA because VC minus v, VA minus VC is 6, so I will have VA minus VC is 6. But VC here, I will have 7 over 3. So VA minus 7 over 3 will be 6. And that means that VA here will be 6 plus 7 over 3. Or that will be 8.33. This is VA. And the last thing we need to do is calculate VD. How to calculate VD? Yeah, we need to use KCL at node D. Let's do that. Let's do KCL at node D. Okay, KCL at node D. This current is going in. So I will have VB minus VD. I will have VB minus VD divided by the resistance between them. That will be 5. And also this 2 ampere current source. So plus 2. And that will equal to this current here. So we'll have Vd minus 0 over 2. So we'll have Vd minus 0 over 2. And let's plug that Vb is 5 volt from here. So I will have 5 minus Vd over 5 plus 2 is equal to Vd over 2. Now let's multiply both sides here by 10. And by multiplying 10 here, I will have 10 minus 2 Vd and then plus 20 is equal to 5 Vd. Okay, this will be 30 is equal to 7 Vd. Or Vd is 30 divided by 7. Okay, what is it? What is 30 divided by 7? Okay, I will have 4.29. 4.29. 4. Oh, okay. I think I got all the node voltage here. So VA is this one. VB is 5 volt. VC is 2.33 volt. And VD is 4.29 volt. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.